Hi, my name is Rohit Sati. The primary function of a geonet or a geocomposite is to transport or convey liquids or gases. One of the key applications is in landfills, basically where we collect and manage the leachate. We use a lot of geocomposites to minimize rain infiltration into landfills so that we can minimize the leachate. When you look at the extrusion process where we first use the resin pellets and the carbon black, which is an additive that we add into the process, these are fed into the extruder where mixing and melting of the resin pellets takes place and then the molten plastic is extruded through dye which has got a rotating head. With the GeoNet line, we have two separate set of strands rotating or counter-rotating and then you're basically placing those parallel ribs on each other to create the structure of the net. Quality control with our manufacturing process is really critical. As the product is coming out of the line, we make sure that we look at the thickness, the grams per square meter, or the weight of the product, the density, the carbon black, the tensile strength, all these properties are really critical. We can easily make two rolls per hour, and this roll is about 300 feet long, so pretty efficient in the lamination lines, even faster. We are also promoting geocomposite as a viable alternative to aggregate drainage materials. Mining of the aggregate is very expensive. Aggregate production around the world, it's a very big industry, and it's a non-renewable resource the material is not going to be available for uh, next few generations. So it's important to look at materials that can actually replace this aggregate material. I would also like to bring in the aspect of how we manage recycling content in our materials. Up to 10%, up to 15%, depending on the application, that's actually one of the sustainable practices that we use at Layfield. We are also looking at the safety of our workers. A lot of safety features have been built into these lines to ensure that people are safe when they're working around these lines. It is the only Canadian manufacturing line that's available. Nobody in Canada makes GeoNet and GeoComposites.